Hi. In this video, I'll be comparing two of the most expensive cordless vacuums on the market. We've got the Dyson V10 Absolute, and we've got one of the new Bosch Unlimited cordless vacuum cleaners. Now, this one has, in my eyes, gone under the radar a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to do some comparisons that you can't just look at down a spec sheet on a manufacturer's website. So I will compare things like the weight and the noise level, which is quite important, but I also want to do some everyday tests. It's going to involve some rice, some cornflakes, so let's get going. So the first test I want to do is to compare the weights of the vacuums. And this is just the handheld unit, so there's no tools or accessories on this bit. So first of all, we've got the Dyson V10. And this one is at 16.71 grams, so 1.6 kilograms. And the next one is the Bosch. And that one is slightly heavier, it's 1785 grams. So one point, almost 1 1.8 kilograms. So a little bit heavier for the Bosch. Now for some people, the noise level of the vacuum cleaner is as important as the suction itself. So what I'll do is I've got my phone with a sound meter on it. And what I'll do is I will compare both vacuums on the minimum and the maximum suction from exactly a metre away to see how noisy they actually are. So the first one we'll test is the Dyson on the minimum power setting. And that one is 57 decibels. So that was fairly good. And the next one we'll do is the Bosch on the minimum setting. That one's 52 decibels, so a little bit quieter. And then we'll try the maximum setting on the Dyson. So 71 decibels. You can certainly hear the difference as you go up to the maximum power. And the same on the Bosch. And that one is 61 decibels, so quite a bit quieter, the Bosch. So the next test is something a little bit different. And what I've got here is a bowl of uncooked rice. And with the vacuum cleaner, what I want to do is I want to see how long it takes on the maximum suction to empty the bowl of rice. So the first one we'll try is the Dyson. As you can see, I've got the crevice tool on both. And it will be on maximum suction so that it's a fair test. So that was done in 5.35 seconds, and to me that seems quite impressive. So the next one to try is the Bosch, and because this is part of the vacuum cleaner, the this is the crevice tool, then we'll be using that, and again we'll be using it on maximum suction. As you can see, although it's gone way above the maximum line, it's actually filled the bin, this one did it in impressive basically four seconds. And that is very good. So even though it filled up way above the line that's recommended, it still coped with the demand to get up all the rice out of the bowl. Now for the next test, what we want to do is see how well they cope with sucking up some dry rice from some very short pole carpet. And what I'll do is I'll compare them both at the same time, so it is a fair comparison, and they will be on maximum power setting. As you can see, both of them actually cope very well, but it did need two goes for both of them to get it up. Now the next test is much more difficult, and quite a few vacuums do struggle with this, so it'll be interesting to see how they get on. This is basically comparing sucking up cornflakes, and again they'll be on maximum power setting. Both 
both of them actually did really well with that. And for the next test, this will test the maximum runtime of the vacuum cleaners. But clearly both of these are 60 minutes on the minimum power. But what I want to know is what the maximum runtime can be on the maximum power. That's the figure that most manufacturers won't quote. So it makes it a little bit easier on the Bosch one because you can basically just press the switch and the power will stay on all the time. What I have to do on the Dyson is to use a cable tie just around the on and off switch because uh, it's all trigger based. So let's see how this goes. So at 13 minutes on the maximum power for the Bosch, that was quite a success compared to the Dyson. Other useful comparisons that you can talk about are things like the capacity of the bin. So you've got the Bosch that's 0.4 litres and the Dyson is 0.76 litres. So there is a big difference when it comes to the amount of dirt you can actually get in the vacuum. When it comes to things like the tools, they are really down to individual models so you will find on the Dyson that as you go through models, things like the Absolute, Animal and Total Clean, that the range of tools you get are completely different. And on the Bosch, again, there are three models in the unlimited range. As you go through the range, then you do get extra accessories and things like the wall mount is included on the better models. So just to summarise between the Dyson and the Bosch cordless vacuums, I wouldn't really say there's a clear winner out of these two. I'd say that the Bosch is, I was quite surprised how quiet it was compared to the Dyson and I was really impressed with how well it sucked up the rice from inside the bowl even though the Dyson did a very good job but clearly the price on these are, they are the more expensive vacuums on the market you're looking around the 400 to 450 pound mark but you do find that the suction on these will be a lot better than some of the cheaper ones around the 100 150 pound mark and again, when we're comparing the rice on the floor and the cornflakes on the floor, both actually did a very good job using the standard head that they come with. And as I did mention that if you did want to get the, so the Dyson Absolute model, then that actually comes with the soft roller cleaner head, which can help by picking up the bigger particles. I hope you've enjoyed the video on the comparison between the Dyson V10 and the Bosch Unlimited cordless vacuum cleaners. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below, thanks very much.